Welcome back to Totem Pole Sports. Coach Hutch, Coach Moji, the OG, Coach Lambeau, back as always. We're here to talk about a recent firing here in the NFL. We knew it was going to happen sometime sooner or later. Matt Rule, 1-4 and four right now when he got fired. They dropped a $63 million seven-year contract. He's only two years into it. Coach Lambeau, what do you think? Uh, he should have stayed in college. Now, Matt Rule has – it's known for turning around programs. Um, he started at Temple in 2013, ended in 2016. Um, he turned a two-win uh, two team in Temple into a 10-win team, 2015, 2016 in Temple. He went 10-4 and four and 10-3. and three. Then he got invited to come to Baylor. Big 12 Conference, big team. Um, their current head coach now is Dave Armada, who was the former uh, defensive coordinator for LSU a couple years back. Uh, back at he was there from 2017 to 2019. He turned a one-win Baylor team into seven wins and into 11 wins. And then ever since, he has records of 5-11, and 5-12, and 12, and 1-4 and four in the NFL. And last year, remember the Carolina Panthers starting 3-0 and oh, and just couldn't finish. So Matt Rule wasn't a good fit for the NFL. I appreciate it. You know, his confidence and his pride for trying. But just because you coach in the NFL doesn't mean you're meant for the NFL. Just look at the stories of Nick Saban. He wasn't meant for the NFL. He was meant for college. So he's just one of those coaches that isn't ready for the NFL. I think he'll be a good college coach. But it's sad to say that, he, you know, he got fired. But also the defensive coordinator, Phil Snow, got fired as well. So he isn't the only person that got fired. So the interim head coach is Steve Wilkes who is the former head coach of the Arizona Cardinals. So we'll see how the Carolina Panthers can turn the season around. And there's a possible that Baker Mayfield will be out with a sprained ankle and P.J. Walker will get the starting reps. So a lot mixing up going on there in Carolina. Coach Mo, what do you think about the money that was spent? What are they going to do? How are they going to handle all that? Uh, it's just one of those things that comes about – Thinking you're getting a, a big name guy because of what he did, the success that he had in college. Think you can come to the NFL. It's a whole nother level. I mean, same thing we tell kids from youth football to high school to college. There's so many different levels to the thing. And you have to know, you have to be able to motivate for one thing. Okay. Two, you have to kind of get everybody to buy in to what you're selling, man. That, that's that's a big part, and I mean we've seen like he said, like Coach Lambo said, many coaches saving new hopes. The list goes on. They they do well at the college level with the younger kids, but when it comes to dealing with grown men, it's a whole different situation. But back to the money, man, that's a lot of crypt you're putting out there. And now, what's going to happen? What is going to happen? That's going to be the big question. I'm sure we're going to talk about that later in the year how these Carolina Panthers have fared since the loss of their coach. Um, like you said, guys, you nailed it right on the head. The NFL is a different animal than college. It is a different step. It, it's not just for coaches, but for players too. When they make that transition, they don't always turn out exactly as you expect them to. Well, that's it for Totem Pole Sports. Appreciate you watching. If there's anything you'd like us to talk about, please write it down there in those comments, and we will see you next time. Coach Lambo, Coach Coolmo, the OG. Moji, the OG, sorry, and Coach Hutch. We got y'all. We'll be back here next time. Peace.